Okay, I think we're supposed to introduce ourselves. I'm Lindsay Worth. I did philosophy at Harvard, economics at Oxford, and now law at Yale. And I am particularly directing my question to Dr. Collins, but love to hear any answers. Um, I hear people lots of times talking like you did about things that are outside the natural world, outside of space, outside of time, incredibly improbable, etc. And despite my overeducation and lots of smart friends trying to explain, I just don't understand what people like you are talking about. And I was wondering if you could help me understand and wrap my, wrap my mind around what this is supposed to be. Okay, well I just enumerated some important questions that I think science can't answer, like why are we all here? How did the universe get started might be another one. Now that is a question which science attempts to address. If you look at the way in which the physical constants that characterize uh, the universe have their given values, it is astounding to note there are about 15 of these constants, from the gravitational constants to the strong and weak nuclear forces, for instance. Were they not precisely tuned uh, to the exact values that they have, some of them to within one part in 10 to the 14th, then the universe could never have existed as anything other than gas because there would not have been sufficient forces to allow coalescence of planets, stars, and ourselves. I find that pretty interesting, and I think that is outside of the realm of our current ability to explain scientifically, and you might therefore begin to speculate that that says something about theology. In fact, uh, the noted astronomer Robert Jastrow uh, himself not a believer, talks about getting to this point and saying what an incredibly upsetting experience it was as you began to try to figure out that first 10 to the minus 43 seconds of what happened at the beginning of the universe. You get to the top of the mountain and you are greeted by a band of philosophers and theologians who have been sitting there for centuries. Well, I think that's part of the answer to your question. And since others have promoted their books, let me say. <laughs> I have a book coming out in six weeks called The Language of God. There are a few uh, galley proofs up there on the table. Uh, and I would be very interested in the comments of any of this group on the arguments that are in that particular manuscript. Quickly, jump in. Just quickly, that, that, that's another instance of the argument from improbability. The universe, the, the fundamental constants are incredibly finely tuned. So what? God, if he exists, also has to be incredibly finely tuned. Therefore, you've explained exactly nothing. <laughs> Our next question.